Hey, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to another Danny Eats Food today. It's kind of our right now is kind of our first real meal. We decided to go get pokey at Konohiki Seafood, and I'll tell you a little bit about our our experience there. <laughs> a little bit of a story. <laughs> Sarah, uh, Sarah's parents are behind us. Say hi. Hello. Yeah. Aloha. They're eating a little bit of uh, Hawaiian barbecue. Sarah's dad got some short rib. And Sarah's mom got some fries. <laughs> and a local moko is over there too. So, uh, But today we have a Bray Dawn uh, two entree plate. Um, kind of got lost. The GPS took us to a kind of like a different location. But we made it there. First glance, looks like a decent shop. Uh, we were just kind of walking in and uh, you know I said, hey, how's it going? To the, the guy that was there, but didn't really say anything. I don't know. Maybe it's because my mask was on. Uh, but I said it again. I was like, "Hey man, how's it going? You doing okay?" And then nothing. Crickets. I ordered a braidon plate, which comes with ahi tuna, spicy mayo, furikake, sesame seeds. Uh, you can get a choice of white rice or sushi rice. I decided to get the sushi rice. Um, there's a side of shredded kalua pork. Um, here's the kalua pork. Here's the ahi tuna. I think that's dill. Here's the sushi rice. They're, they're calling this potato salad, but I see some pasta? A macaroni salad? All right, so let's go ahead and take our first bite. If it looks the bomb, it is the bomb. Mmm, you heard it. That's really good. The tuna's fresh. The rice isn't over soggy. Uh, the mayo isn't overpowering. Mm. Oh yeah. All right, second bite. Oh yeah. I normally go for salmon, but surprisingly, there isn't a lot of salmon options here in on the island, which is um, I thought was a fan favorite. Sarah loves salmon. Salmon belly, salmon collar, salmon nigiri, baked salmon, fried salmon, all the salmon. <laughs> Alright, let's dig into this Kahlua pork. How's the fried chicken? It's good. It's tender. It's a little cold, but that's okay. In the microwave. Honestly, this food makes up for <laughs> that guy. Maybe you know, maybe he's just he just had a bad day. You know, I don't blame him. Hmm. Yeah. Again, guys, this is Konohiki Seafood. Small little shop next to a laundromat. Unfortunately, there isn't a dining area. But uh, I've seen some people on Yelp say they take their food next door to the laundromat. Uh, it's a pretty big parking lot. Due to COVID, not a lot of tourism. So the parking lot was not as full. But it is a Tuesday. Kind of early in the week, so. I don't, I don't think they expect a lot of people to be out and about. But today we spent most of our day here at the resort. Probably going to tuck her in for the rest of the day. Me and Sarah drank a little bit early in the morning, so. Kind of very early. Something. It was fun at the time. But then I, we ran out of water. <laughs> and I was drinking tap water from the sink. And normally I don't do that, but... Thirst was I was real. the thirst was real. I was desperate. Sarah would never. <laughs> I do this thing where I, when Sarah says a joke, I kind of just. That's and, actually funny. It's actually pretty funny, and then no one hears it, but then I say it a little louder, and everyone thinks it's funny. Mmm, this potato salad is really good. What the heck? Potato pasta. Is yours? I have no idea. Wow, they're just outperforming themselves. You know what? You know that guy's? That guy's probably like, man, 
You're gonna like this food so much, I'm not gonna need to say anything. Yeah? I think that's... The food will sell itself. <laughs> the food will speak for itself. <laughs> Don't need no add-on. <laughs> oh, man. When it's a bomb, it's a bomb. What do you guys think? Is that the money line right there? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know down in the comments when it's a. I mean, <laughs> say it one more time. One more time. When it's the bomb, it is the bomb. When when it's the bomb, it is the bomb. Let us know in the comments. Thumbs up if you guys like that catchphrase. Coin it. Sarah's uh -oh. dead. <laughs> All right, guys. We've added another dish to the menu. Well, we already I already told you about it, but this is a loco moco. From Smiley's? Smiley Local Grinds. Local Grinds. <laughs> man, you, you should come here and do this review, man. Don't let the appearance fool you. It will pass for the parking lot waiting to go. One of the best eating holes in the local area. There you go. You heard it. You heard it there. Let me know in the comments if you want to hear more from Sarah's dad. <laughs> Do a mukbang. Do a mukbang with him. I'm going to keep my day job. <laughs> Tell him he says he's going to keep his day job. He's okay. I, th I don't think YouTube's ready for him, to be honest with you. It's too much, too much knowledge, too much wisdom, too much experience. <laughs> All right, here we go. Fried chicken from Sarah's plate. Uh, looks like dark meat. Seasoned. It's a little cold because we let it sit, but it's okay. There's a bone. There's a bone in. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> hmm. I'm tasting lemongrass. Oh. Has a little bit of a sweet flavor. Not bad. Not the greatest. Look at that. Oh. You full? What'd you think? Out of ten. Uh, Gotta hear it. Nine point three out of ten. Wow. Food wise. Food wise. Mm -hmm. So guys, Sarah, she doesn't love food as much as I do, but she does care about like the customer experience, like hospitality, the moment you walk in, the way that. You know the employees treat their their customers. All right, let's uh, let's take a bite into this loco moco again. If you guys don't know, traditional loco moco comes with white rice, a burger beef patty. This one looks to be cooked at in medium. A little bit of pink there. You want to try this? Uh, there's a over medium. I asked for an over medium fried egg, and there's a uh, gravy on top. I don't know what type of gravy they use. I'm just gonna assume that this is a beef gravy. So here we go. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Go. Mmm. There's dessert here. Okay. You can show it to you. I need to figure out what this one. Oh yeah, that's a loco moco right there, boy. Mm. Good call. Now here's what I like about this loco moco. There's a generous, and this is a mini plate. There's also a regular plate. Oh, that's huge. Yeah. I mean, 
It's like 10 bucks, but tourism, right? Uh, white rice. Looks like they put a layer of the gravy. And then they put a... I think that's like an inch. Beef patty. It's huge. And then um, mm. a pretty big egg. More gravy on top. Dude, that egg is so good. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. Even at this resort, there's a lot of chickens running around. And uh, I don't know. Like, where do they come from? What, what do they eat? Do the locals feed them? They're even here at the hotel wandering. Yeah. They're harmless though. Here's another bite of that loco, moco. Damn, I'm so glad we got this. That one's really good. This is so good. I'm not even fronting, like, this is so good. The egg really makes it. Loco, moco. Oh. Oh, I think we just lost some light. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. I'm almost done with the review. Loco moco. Mm. 